Hello fellow mythical Pokemon, my name is Video James, and today we're going to be talking about the Pokemon Ziora. So if you don't know, Pokemon actually released Ziora not at long ago, it actually released it last week. So we actually have this thing officially confirmed, it is an official Pokemon now, it's officially confirmed to actually exist in the games when it gets released. But we do have some images as well of this Pokemon in the anime. And that's something I want to take a look at. Before any of that, though, we actually have a mystery gift released to talk about. So, for those of you in South Korea with the movie Rise of Darkrai actually getting released over there, which I didn't know, I thought Darkrai's movie was released everywhere already, but it is actually getting released in South Korea, which means the Darkrai event is actually going to happen from April 27th to May 27th. I don't know how it's going to get distributed yet, because we haven't gotten full details of that yet. But it will actually be the first Darkrai distribution of Generation 7, meaning it'll be the only way to really get it with the Black Clover. But yes, moving back to Zerora, we actually get actual images and a tiny bit of story from the movie that says what is the true identity of the mythical Pokemon Zerora. So I kind of want to know what this means. So we see in this picture up here that Zerora actually looks pretty teed off. He looks like he's either fighting something or running from something, and he don't look too happy about it. And we do know that this movie will actually feature another legendary, Lugia, as well as the main trouble causers of everything, Team Rocket. Yes, as a lot of you may have known, Team Rocket has actually gotten a new look, meaning we might actually see them in the movie. But we have gotten a new look that seems very similar to the style of the movie I Choose You. So it is a strong possibility that they might have some influence in Zora acting so angrily because it does look very angry in this picture so what i want to know is is the wind festival something that has something to do with lugia keeping ziora in check so we think about lugia we think oh one of the strongest legendary pokemon psychic flying type extremely powerful able to create hurricanes and all that and then we think what is its real purpose it rules over the seas it keeps the seas protected and it visits this wind festival sometimes but we also saw in Lugia's movie that when the legendary birds were in trouble it actually ended up helping them as well idea is maybe the reason they have this offering for Lugia is so that it'll keep Zora in check so maybe during around the time of the wind festival um Lugia comes and visits and maybe Zora starts to get a little angry because Lugia is there, or maybe it starts to wake up, and it's somewhere around the mountains of this island that we actually know it is in the recesses of the area where the movie will be taking place inside of the mountains. So maybe Lugia comes to visit to actually stop Zora from actually tearing apart the land with its lightning and thunder, because it is an electric-type Pokemon with the classification of the Thunderclap Pokemon. So it is really intriguing right now to kind of just think about what Ziora might hold that I really do kind of want to see what impact Ziora is going to have in the movie as well as what impact Lugia will actually have in the movie but I kind of want to see Team Rocket also actually stir up some trouble to where they kind of like anger Ziora or something and make him want to attack the village early so Lugia isn't prepared for it and then Ash and Pikachu have to step in which might be a very reasonable and possible thing that might happen because if usually with team rocket ash always ends up cleaning up their mess or ash causes a mess that lets team rocket make a bigger mess and then he has to clean it up so maybe this will all have something to do with ash working together with lugia again like he did in the original movie i don't know i just i really want to see what happens in this movie and i want to know why Zora is so angry because like i said that's an angry Zora right there so maybe it actually is something like there's an annual battle between him and Lugia, or Team Rocket stirs him up and Lugia has to stop him early, or he just goes on rampage and Lugia has to stop him, and there's really no cause of it altogether. Regardless, I'm going to leave this video here. Let me know what you guys think Ziora will actually play as a role in the new movies, because I really want to see what will happen. I mean, in the game images, he doesn't look that angry of a Pokemon. He actually looks more of just a, I guess, docile kind of Pokemon. Well, not really docile, more relaxed, I would say. But a more relaxed Pokemon compared to something like, I don't know, Genesect, because Genesect's always angry. But in this image, we actually get him being very angry. So I want to see 
what actually happens. And he is going to play a big role, apparently. He is going to have a very big role in this movie. Regardless, I'm leaving this video here. If you guys liked it, you can slap the like button as always. And I'll see all you beautiful people in the next video.